between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Garoppolo, first play, going to throw it. That's Samuel, caught left side. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 13 yards on the game's opening play. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And this pass caught by Gray. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And his throw is incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. And it's third down and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. He filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Garoppolo looks to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Right 
So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Stafford. And the Niners get there and bring him down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Back to throw. Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. Gold with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Stafford on first down. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henderson. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate. But a nice carry. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Henderson will try to run for the first. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now a first down throw. Stafford. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Only three there on the screen at second down. These Rams and Niners met three times a season ago. The Niners had the Rams number in the regular season, winning 31-10 in Santa Clara, and then again 27-24 in overtime in the season's final week. But the Rams got the last laugh in the NFC Championship game with that 20-17 victory. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage.
They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Henderson running straight ahead. And some room to run now. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. On first and 10, Stafford. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. An opportunity to get back to level after the fumble return touchdown. First and goal. Henderson. No signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. And they'll run again. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Daryl Henderson taking it in from a yard out. And the Rams are an extra point away from evening this one up. So the toss play effective even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. An extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied at seven. seven now as they kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Able to slither by. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. Good push up front in that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run with McCaffrey off the option, and that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully 
that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. A gain of three, second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And right side, they're going to go option here. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Garoppolo now. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he is going to have a Niners first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. These two teams all tied after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Garoppolo. A quick reaction as he catches it off the tip. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. So it'll be a loss of 10 on the play, and it'll be fourth down. But well, this is one of those plays where your instincts actually go against you. You really need to try and knock that down, but it happens so fast, partner. Yeah, you see the ball in the air. Maybe even though you're behind the line, you just think, I need to catch this and try to make a play. Yeah, what you really need to do, knock it to the ground and just go ahead and go to the next down because now you're probably going to lose yardage. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They'll get this one to Cup complete. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second down, it's Henderson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. As he gets the first down, let's take a look at what Cooper Cup did last season because it was one of the greatest years for a receiver in NFL history. 145 catches, 1,947 yards, both second most in a season all time. Truly an MVP caliber performance for the Super Bowl champs, and he capped it off in the Super Bowl himself as the MVP. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. 
from the 35 on second down. Stafford, and he'll just get rid of it. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Stafford now to throw. Flushed out right. That's taken in by Henderson. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. But well, looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. On fourth down, Stafford. Man, open, it's cop. He's got it. And he is going to have the Rams first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and 10 inside the 25. To the air again, Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford. That is caught inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks. And you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense was quicker. Once more with Henderson. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They'll look to run with Henderson. And this time he is in. Yes. Daryl Henderson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams have moved out in front. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. 
they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Throwing on second and three. Garoppolo will get this out right here to McCaffrey. Finding room at midfield. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Throwing on second and three. Garoppolo. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. The Niners on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A good scheme and an early win for this pass rush. They got back there before he could work through his entire progression and ended that play early. So Garoppolo off, coming on as the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. The kick by Gold is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, 
comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. On second down, back to Henderson. Down right around the 25. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Stafford on third down. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? It should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. First down, Stafford here. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Now Stafford. And he'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. This will wind up a loss on the play. And now third down and six to go. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice, tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Fourth down, and we go from one Matt to another. Stafford heads off. Matt Gay gets set for the Rams' field goal. Gay's kick is good, and that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second down and three. 
Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Flush, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. Oh, the return is Powell. That will go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. On first down at Stafford, eluding the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. To throw is Stafford. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt, and this one is no good. He missed it, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit, and once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, from the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. A carry by Henderson to start the drive. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. From the 25 on second down, Stafford escaping the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary, all of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Stafford. Over the middle, complete. It's Robinson. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. 
McLeod to return it. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and they will take over first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From just shy of midfield, Garoppolo. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 25-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Second and five. yardage and be backed up to the 24. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Garoppolo looks to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But it had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Stafford on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Henderson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Up the middle, here's Henderson. 
And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. On third down, here's Henderson. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. On second down, back to Henderson. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Nick Bosa giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage, well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. And they'll go ahead and down this one right on the chalk of the 20-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Now Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, 
You often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Over the middle to Kittle, complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Ooh, the juke. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And right side, they're going to go option here. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Oh, what a move. 91 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Oh, well, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Yeah, nothing doing here as this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. A fourth and very long coming up. You're out of field goal range. I don't know that you can go for this. Well, I know that you want to, right? You know that they want to say, hey, let's go for this. We've got the perfect play drawn up. Let's do it. But I wouldn't go for it either. I agree with you totally. You only down one score, punt it, let your defense pick you up. 
Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. So this punt sails out of bounds across midfield. Now the question, they're going to spot it right at the 40, the 40-yard line. Henderson now on first and 10. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. To throw again on second down, Stafford. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Man open is Robinson. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Nick Bosa, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Throwing on second and long. Stafford, throw right side, going to be taken in by Henderson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Third and long, it's Stafford. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Robinson. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll run here with Henderson, and he gets halfway there from the 6 to the 3 on a gain of 3. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. And this time he is in. Yes. Daryl Henderson punching it in from a yard away. And the Rams get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line, so forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play. One of our best blockers, and let's get this one in.
Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 117 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. There's Garoppolo on first and 10. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? And they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown coverage. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. And a loss of three to bring up four. So Garoppolo off, coming on as the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Throwing a Stafford. That's taken in by Henderson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe it'll slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Throwing again on second down. Stafford, open man is Skoranek. He's got it. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down.
Henderson running straight ahead. 98 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 31-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay gain. Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 16. A couple of vets, Stafford to Robinson there. First down, Rams. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. To the right side, this is Henderson. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. It's a 7-yard carry to set them up with a 2nd and 3. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. Gets him down to the six-yard line. Again, it's Henderson. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Daryl Henderson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Rams have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche you can know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. On first down, Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. 
And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line to throw again on second down. Garoppolo. That one to the sideline and a nice catch there. He stays in bounds, but a penalty marker is down as well. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Garoppolo now. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Garoppolo. He's got a man complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route will run, and the football right on the money. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First down now, but that clock rolling. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And incomplete on the deep ball. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Over the middle, complete to... Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And the Rams have got it back. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Stafford down to a knee and with it, he's going to ensure his guys a victory. Here's Riley Dixon now. Standing right on his own five-yard line. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The partner, you and I were excited for this one today and certainly had its moments. Some good execution at times by both of these offenses. Defenses both made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now.